just downloaded this game called Gone Home. Not sure exactly what the hell it is. I know that it was for free off the PSN network. I think last month or this month. I'm not sure. But um, I'm gonna check it out. Let's. I you know, yeah. I'll leave. I'll leave the music on. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Let's try this. Walk using L. Look around using R. Okay, let's see what this is all about, guys. Um, going into this, not knowing anything about the game, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it had four stars out of five thousand votes. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I want to see what this game's about. And I'm actually really excited because I um, I bought the uh, Until Dawn game off the PSN network. It's actually on special right now. Um, I think it was like eight bucks, if I'm not mistaken. You guys should check check it out. It looks pretty cool. Uh, okay. Hi, mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. That's I get cool. back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport, so you don't have to pick me up. Like really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, that sounded creepy. Gone home. June seventh, nineteen ninety five, one fifteen AM. Front door. <laughs> Chairs. Mother door. What does that say? Is that my name? Caitlin what? Caitlin. <laughs> My name's Caitlin. Green Briar? Green Briar? Portland. David, don't ruin this game for me. Back off. Let me play it. Uh, I'm going apparently I'm going to Portland. June sixth June sixth, nineteen ninety four. Alright, um Press L, L2 to examine. Okay. What is your problem, David? <laughs> You're not right in the head, bro. How do I rotate this thing? I don't know. It's 5.99 apparently. Okay. That bitch, I want that. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Mama won't like it if I leave the key somewhere in the open. Can I open my bag? Let's go. I got a safety duck. Go. No, let me keep it. There. Give me the duck. Who wants ass? It needs to be perfect. that I wonder if I can
Uh. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Huh. At the new house, add it to it. Sam. Sam. Hello. So she was right next to me. Sam. Damn it. Is there any way that I can make it like our sensitivity? This is too slow. Sam, where are you? Oh, that's so freaky. Really? Stop it. I need to talk to you. There you go, better sensitivity. Please be there. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Dude, but it really, sounds... Really, seriously, you don't have to. It sounds like... Okay, so, love you. Jeez. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, uh, these headphones or th this headset that I got is so amazing. I love it. Uh, Sam Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Goals. That's goals right there for you guys. Explore here. Do I have like a lamp or something? Janice Green Greenbrier? Greenbrier? Senior conservatist. Oh, whatever. Good fellow. Alright. I'm stuck in the closet. <laughs> Shh, fuck that shit. What is that? Fuck that shit right there. I can't like run or anything. Anarchy. Fuck that shit. Total anarchy. Guess let me go here. It is locked. I. I'm gonna go up here in a bit. Welcome new student, we hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you. Okay, never mind. I heard a little talking thing, but it's, I guess it's the radio or something. It says, please be sure to bring following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your dildos. <laughs> for each of your six class periods. One lined notebook per period, or one large notebook with six divided sections, at least six pens. Wow, oh, six pens, that's ridiculous. Lure back black ink and six pencils. So six pens and six pencils, total of 12. That's fucking ridiculous. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your assigned locker, a nutritious lunch, or $2.50 for lunch provided by the school cafeteria, and a positive attitude. And I love how they leave the positive attitude not scratched off. It says, please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. 
See you soon and again. Welcome, Beth. Balance, principal. Okay. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. So apparently people started calling me Psycho House Girl. Is this like a haunted house? Hi mom, dad, and uh, let me get into the light so I can redo a little bit better. Hi mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've, I have done many Parisian things, I think. That's how you said Parisian. Yeah. Including... <laughs> what does that say? Eat... Eating? Uh, eat... Uh, something le petit déjà vu and wearing a bear beret I don't, I don't fucking know I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back Sam I'm bringing you back something from no I had something behind me safest place I want to finish reading that um, yeah, I'll, p I'll play the zombie thing right now. Um, let me get this done. Uh, I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare book company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Uh, One Arbor Hill. Why is that weird? It's Satan. Shut the fuck up. Satan. Yo. Too cold in here already. <coughs> Pacific Insurance Masters. Mm. Terence Greenbrier. Uh, does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any defi deficiencies which need correcting? No unclear. What? If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements however stand behind you St stand you mean satan <laughs> dude spell check it's a beautiful thing thing uh does it say however multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years so i hear like walking behind me dude Quit your shit. I don't feel like a this fucking game's fucking with me. Alright. Uh pressure on floorboards and I have no idea why, but I need to finish reading this. Uh, system is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reasons. Pressure on floorboard and door frames disrupts current circuits wired directly behind the surface property. Uh, reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures for the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrayer, since there are no current safety concerns, issue will not be addressed. Okay. So apparently they had an electrical issue at this house, and they were looking to fix it, I guess. A roll. Okay. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest... Fuck that shit. I don't have a combination here. 
Fuck it. I didn't break that shit. Look at it. Look at me. Look at that shit. Look at it. Do that again. Do it again. Pick it up, bitch. There you go. Ha! Uh, <laughs> look at it. Uh, ah, whatever. Right. There's something. What is this? Can we get it? Nothing. Yeah. Pioneer CLD combination laser disc compact. Oh, that is an expensive fucking uh, disc player. Backlight double set. Oh, that's the fucking lights. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. Yes, that is very true. I have to disagree. Master, shut the fuck up. You do not disagree with any. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. And if you happen to be in the market for combination, uh, whatever. I saw that I, I read. I read instead of J JFK, I read. Quit your shit. I swear I fucking read jerk instead of JFK. What if jerk wasn't jerk? <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought that said le uh, lesbian. It says Lebanese. You can do better. I can do better. Thank you. That's a fucking phone dictionary for this place? A roll. Oh, that's weird that it just fucking leads to nowhere. Oh, hey, there's a paper and, oh, a combination. Okay. Uh, dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you have been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they've been becoming more trouble than they're worth for an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. No, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sec whatever. From the <laughs> usable copy without heavy rewrites, the readers from home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hard, uh, hardware not ruminate ruminations on your childhood if uh, it were up to me I wouldn't be writing this letter I'd just be cutting you loose that's at least he's uh, at least he's truthful there's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use with David Uh, but David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again and everybody will be happy. Okay, 0451, 0451. 0451. Yeah! What the fuck is that? Yeah, like that's not creepy at all, dude. It's just fucking floating trees. Oh, I can open this thing. Get that shit out of here. Fuck that second book. Fuck that shit. Is this where he keeps his porn? Oh, never mind. Never mind. That sucks. Mm. 
What else can I do here? Is this zero zero four fifty one? I think that that was the code. Uh, zero four fifty one. Hey! Dear Mr. Who? Mason, please find and close the original document and type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with the important matter. Okay. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full com competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of value items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will. Oh, okay. Will. And testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am an... I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding area acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and moneyed accounts to my nephew Terrence L. Greenbrayer, Jr. of Ellis County. Uh, so I guess that's me? No. The father of the person that I'm thinking? I'm not sure. And in the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrayer Jr. should predecease me then in such event that be to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of August 1973. Signed, Oscar Mason. Yada 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 Okay. <laughs> Where's the booze, old man? So I have a feeling this place is haunted. I don't know why. It might be the fucking random noises. Oh! Oh, it's a fucking war a warning. Oh, it's just... Let's fucking jam out to some Zeppelin. Oh, uh, get crazy. Sam thought this might help dad. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry about... Oh, fuck you. You know that feeling? Where the oh, first moment it. you see someone, it's like they have a oh. big gold star around them? And you have to get to know them. It's got the well, oil on it. There's Look, this you girl. can see the slices. That's amazing. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. Looking so yeah. right. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her oh, friends yeah. hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Get in there. There you go. Oh, look at it! I'm taking this too. Dad. Damn it. I'm taking the important stuff. Dude, look at me. I'm such a great backer. Back uh, hi Terry and close please find a Pioneer CLDD 703 I swear I heard something um, <laughs> with remote and cables we need a half page review for the October issue so that gives you about two weeks to get us a copy so I'm guessing my father Terry is a writer of some sorts I don't, I don't know Standard stuff like you gave us on the CLDD 502 or reviewer. I think it's a reviewer. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs. Uh, whatever. Stupid shit. Mm -hmm. I'm in the closet. Uh, is it the heaven at the edge of the world, Samantha? Story the okay. 
Oh, okay. All right. Captain Allegra <laughs> looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. And she heard a cannon fire. Boom. It was the black pirate ship. Yerg. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out of the deck of the black. God damn, his fucking tail is amazing. Uh, the black ship, he yelled to Captain Allegra, you are never going to find the edge. Yar, yar. <laughs> there ain't no paradise and your father was a liar. <laughs> Captain Allegra yelled back, then why did you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see your... What? See, your father was no liar. <laughs> That's so weird. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Okay. Alright, then. Oh, there's a little fort. Okay. Yeah! Oh, what the fuck? I'll put that back. Can I, can I get into the fort? No? Okay. What does it say? Bradmobile? I'm putting this in the box of stuff that I'm taking back home with me. Get away. Stop it. You're coming with me. Alright. Can I do here? Can't open that. Yeah. Uh. I'm literally just grabbing everything in. Throwing it, trying to make a mess. I'm that type of person. So what? What's what is what's up with this fucking game? Grab a bunch of coupons. Fuck yes. Save twenty five cents on tortilla chips. Is that what cents of tortilla chips? Hey, you know what? A household is incomplete without fucking tortilla chips. Yeah. Over there. Hello. Yeah, this is my place. This is where I need to be. I'll put this right here. Okay. I got sodas. Oh, it's fucking vodka. Uh, I can't. I can't pour it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Is that money? That's no, not. Whiskey! Damn it. There's a note down here. Read that. <laughs> Dear Mr. Greenbrayer, uh, I write to inform you that unfortunately, Mercury. What? Mercury Books will be unable to publish or follow up to the accidental para, para, para? para bleh, bleh. Uh, despite the low sales of the accidental saver Perea para, I don't know how you say that word we went ahead with publications of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on however sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first and so our stewardship of the series must end here it has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you well. And John Russell, the best in the future endeavors. Uh, so basically, he's telling, go fuck yourself. You suck at writing. You're a terrible person. Okay. No. Uh, reproductive system work. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, description below the two stories. The events are all out of order. Great. I'm gonna read this? 
Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper, write reproductive system worksheet number six at the top. It. <laughs> Choose one of the stories, A or B, and rewrite it. Begin with the title and your name. Find a topic sentence and begin your paragraph. Put, uh, put the sentence in chronologic order. Make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. He came. <laughs> the concluding statement would be, uh, he came. Uh, a menstrual cycle. It travels through the fallopian tubes. The ovary releases a. What does it say? It travels through the fallopian tubes. The ovary releases the ovum. About two weeks later, since the lining of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. He said vagina. <laughs> it is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. If the egg doesn't meet, yeah, you know what? We all know this disgusting story. Uh, okay. Okay, apparently, let's let's see the early mornings. Put your shit game. Right. Let me read this juicy story. Story. Uh, the early morning of September first, nineteen thirty-seven. Essa Glade stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to. Her home village in William and Poland, as the train rumbles along, or rumbles along, and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Bor Borislav, the Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovium starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of her uterus is getting thick and thick and soft. Uh. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in the oh, baker's smock. He he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skipped a beat. Uh, the over-release the ovium. It travels through the fallopian tube. Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station, a whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second, faster. Then the bombs reaches out toward her dear Boris across the crowd. Uh, their eyes look, oh, their eyes lock, and the moment freezes the flash, and the smoke envelops him almost instantly. A better love story than Twilight, I'll tell you that. In the assault by German forces, oh, okay, this it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. Beautiful, love story. Love it so far. Uh, the rest, including Essa, and for a time, Borslav huddled in a ha half-destroyed church. He is blind. <laughs> His legs are missing. Bandaged with torn bed sheets. Dude, this is fucking epic. Essa's eggs will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. <laughs> About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has, uh, has given up her ra rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him since the lining of her uterus is <laughs> since, the <line> <laughs> since the lining of her uterus is not needed for a pregnancy. It comes out through uh, through the va vagina. Uh, Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. <laughs> Another ovium starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. And the teacher put, see me. Okay. That was a fucking good story, dude. How the fuck? Okay. Dude, okay. So, Dave Brubeck. And does anyone know who the fuck this guy is? Amazing musician. Check out Take 5. David, I know you're still watching this. Check out the song Take 5 by Dave Brubeck and the Quartet. It's it's a pretty famous song. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we're... Music room, okay. I was in the music room? Really? Oh, because of the fucking... Okay, uh, what was in here? I don't think I can... Did I come in here? Are these all vinyl fucking CDs? Dude, I wish I lived in a fucking house like this.
Cock eyes is gone, man. Okay. <laughs> Fucking joke. I thought David was, was was still here. But yeah, man. Check out Dave Brubeck. And the quartet. Good fucking jazz band. Oh, that's fucking locked. Okay. So I guess I go upstairs now? Is there any way that I can, like, run? Hey, roll. Quit your shit. I left this door open. That's just in case. So far it's been chill. I've just been exploring this house, but apparently... If I'm not mistaken, there's a poltergeist here. Somewhere. Okay, I can't read that crap. Notice of temporary personal transfer how to state the aid of the upcoming So someone is transferring apparently. I don't wanna <laughs> completely read it because I've been reading too much. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. Stan? And it was like, I don't know. I finally Stan? found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape. Oh! Said, you have got to listen to this. Super Nintendo! I haven't stopped playing it since. Adventurous the cat returns. Oh, and he has the cheat moves. Look at this shit. Okay. I gotta find this. Turn that shit off. Do that shit. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for your for you. Eh. Okay, whatever, that's not mine, I think. That black from every portrait reasonable. David, why the fuck do you keep putting Stan? Whoa! Okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. Yo! Yo! I want to believe. Do 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 do. It's the babble. More cartridges, okay. Journey of Crystal, this looks awesome. Super Spitfire? Yes. Love it. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. I need to make it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Alright. There's gotta be a code somewhere around here. Some 
somewhere. How big is this fucking house, dude? Whoa, the light is on already, dude. Okay. Watercolors technique for floral. Uh. Uh. Is this my family? Is this what the? No, let me read the letter. Oh, uh, whatever. Is that a weed plant? Oh, never mind. Okay. God damn this fucking game. I do. Uh, look under bed. Why? Is there a portal? Dude. What the? Take your time. I'm glad to have it. And get, uh, get over there. Nothing under there. Stop messing with me. I'm literally gonna open everything. There's a fucking shitload of jeans, dude. Is there any way that I can like run? Did that land straight up? Look at it! Shaving cream. Eh. Mom and dad sex date. Uh, after the honeymoon, this is disgusting. Rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. Put that right there. Someone left the fucking water running. I'm not happy about that. It's garbage. So I'm guessing this is your parents' room. The thing I'm uh, I'm confused is what the where the fuck are they? Like, they just took off. Whoa! There's some some saltiness going on in the <laughs> in the comments. Okay. Uh, red lights. Guest room. Uh, oh shit. 
Okay, so this is a ghost uh, booklet. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall where I rounded the corner. No one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I was not wearing my glasses. Okay. So this is a book about sightings, ghost sightings. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton and fridge, it was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. The milk was just bought yesterday. Okay, uh, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. Oh, is that the thing at the stairs? Okay. This shit is starting to piss me off, dude. <gasps> What's this? No way, dude. That was in fucking here. Dude, you can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. That was not fucking there, dude. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna read this. Lonnie and I am what the Ouija board as a medium disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side Oscar is definitely here enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premise recording any sites recording any sites of otherworldly this means the army thinks I can find my way around Army has branded me as a certified killing machine. I am a what? Burn adventurous, and no borders can hold me. No fucking soothing music anymore. It's just... Kinda wanna go over there, but not yet. I came out of that one already. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out. Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for for a change, but I can just ditch out on it's probably what time. Also, isn't the movie supposed to be a really violent? Am I going to barf? Yeah, at one point or another, yeah, you are going to barf. According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore, I guess. Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin heel, <laughs> so that's kind of hilarious. So something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. Don't barf. Alright, see you then. So do I have like a flashlight or something? Oh, there's a bathroom here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Something happened. Oh, can I? What? I guess I over exaggerated. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Painting room. Where the fuck do these people live that they have a fucking painting room?
Oh, check it out. There's a fucking... There's a black space there. Maybe I can get into it? Possibly? The misfits. Alright. See you there. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Play something, white boy. Talking to me? I'm, I'm a white boy? This house is like super creepy. Whoa. Okay. Oh, what was that? That's cool. But where's the other costume? Oh, that's cool. Heavens to Pepsi calculator. That can stop me. Decide. Stay away. Don't look. Don't look here. Uh, I looked. Joke's on me, guys. Damn it. Holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. That ass though. Whoa, whoa. Sam's dark group do not enter if red lights are on. But I want to. Oh, it's fucking locked. Alright. So, where do I have to go to? Uh. Okay. The tone of the music just fucking changed. Pick this up. Whoa!
library upstairs evidence of the supernatural discovered so apparently okay give me that back our fucking Christ compels all you That is crazy, I fucking missed this. The accidental. Okay, so I'm in Look, look, look. Okay, throw that shit. Uh, I have to redownload it though. Uh, right stop at turn past. Okay, that's one. Green glacier part two, Samantha. <laughs> Allegra and her scouting part party peered down wearily through the lens. The dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches, mere feet away sunlight, uh, shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed uh, with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leaped forward without hesitation, bounding. I thought I heard footsteps. Uh, hesitation bonding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's uh, party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Uh, Allegra landed in the cleaning and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal. Reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below, she shouted, No! And flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand. And it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down. And all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves and coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her was the eyes. The face, the hair, hands, and body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate, he, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain, the Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistol from her belt, and the crew re readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Better love story than... Okay, is this here? Yeah, okay, this is over here. I have to do this. Um, where else? Uh, there is one over here somewhere. This one? Yup. Key! The Misfits, Saturday, October. Oh, okay, cool. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. 
My heart was beating so fast. This... I rolled over. I felt so... I don't know. Nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Hello, who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? See, maybe does that sound weird to you guys? Chill the fuck out. Alright. To suck cock. Uh, alright. To open a zero Pfizer fifty one. Uh, zero fifty one. Zero fifty one. Shannon Doherty. Damn. She has a fucking pack of cigarettes. Hello. What's this? Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like, I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Is this a story of like love? I mean, so far it's pretty cool. I guess I get to go to the basement now. I wonder what we'll find down there. I need like a flashlight or something. Walking around with a crucifix. Uh, power fucking compels the. Christ compels everybody, motherfuckers. Everybody chill out. Is it this way? I was over here. That thing really does fucking hold this. Okay, yeah. there you go. And my crucifix. Uh. 
Oh shit, no, it's back here. Okay. Is there any way that I could run? Christ compels all of you bitches all of you all of you all he compels everyone so don't mess around where'd that thing go hey chips Oh, for real, where'd my... Where'd my thing go? Say <sighs> thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being... <coughs> but it was pretty funny. How impossible is it for your dad not to be awkward? Damn it! Creaky noises. Mm, There's six and so very quarterly years. Your little close friend and com Mr. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you and gracious host of the festivities of your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable for the two events. I must say, I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother. Who was a lovely woman with sterling taste and refined air? Alright. Same time next year, shall we indeed, madam? It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know... So you could say we're dating, but it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Fucking big is this house, man? Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Junk room? What the fuck? How big is this fucking house, man?
There's a fucking servants' quarters, dude. Are you serious? Alright. Yes, 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 I I saw your comment. Uh, last two. I'll get it sometime. Unless Cub Scout set list. Oh, they have a set list, okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Don't get me wrong, I love heavy metal music, it just, I don't, I mean, that's punk, right, but fucking, I don't know the combination number. say oh, what the fuck that says hey <laughs> Romeo dude for us how fucking big is this house man I have no idea where the fuck I'm going at this point, dude. I saw this earlier, but where's this fucking go? Why are my footsteps super, like, fucking loud now, man? Go upstairs, alright? Chips. Oh, dude. I don't get. I heard sometimes. voices. I swear I did. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. 
And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Alright, before that whole thing fucking started, there was a whisper. Somewhere over here, man. What the fuck? Okay. Nope. I'll explore that in a bit. There's more shit over here. Oh, that is so freaky, dude, to have that fucking shit. In the guest room? Oh, so that's what that fucking dark space was in the middle of the map, or the middle of the, of the rooms. It's a little stairway to go down. What's this? 196.3? Could it be? One ninety six three. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for ruining it. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, damn, okay. Bam, okay. What can I do what that is? What is this? She had fucking morphine, dude? What the fuck? Okay, so what the fuck is this? Hydrogen peroxide? Is it like the acid? Ugh. All right. Whatever. Upstairs right now. Going this way. A roll. A roll. Where am I? Oh, this is. Hey. It's open. Okay. Ah, these people leave like notes everywhere, man. That is an expensive fucking haircut. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly 
super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. Earth, oh, wind, and fucking fire, did. dude. You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. This is very true. Things are pretty fucking, uh... Extra ticket. Oh, is this the outside? Okay. I was dis uh, disturbing in a what? Inappropriate materials at school grounds. Phone called students' parents. Since you refer to he's us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month for social and t what? Social and telephone prejudice for using your car for anything except going to to and from school. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight when you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like she -Ra. mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Okay, um, that was a dining room, right? Okay. This is a kitchen. I would... Yes, this is the kitchen. It's 12 o'clock. Hiya! Oh, is this the garage? Um... Alright ladies and gentlemen, actually I'm going to be calling it a night on this one. Very, very interesting game. I, I like it so far. It has me really intrigued. Um, oh, let me read this. I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 30th, 7th. We will be camping and we will be giving you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid. We're trust contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. <laughs> Dead. I 
asked Lonnie what story. she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Alright. That will be it for this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you on the next one. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, hit the likes. Um, subscribe if you guys can. If you can't, well then, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ladies, guys, have a good one.